Hey all. Hey all, Steve here. I'm doing a review on the crew box. It's a Galaxy Note 4 case. Uh, it does come with a uh, tempered glass protector and has a kickstand in it. So it's a little kit that comes together. Let me get it open. So the thing is, is I've tried several other screen protectors for the Galaxy Note 4, as most of you are probably aware, none of them work very well in as much that you get that haloing effect from the tempered glass. So what you want to do is go ahead and run the little alcohol pad. It gets all the oils and stuff off the screen. There's a microfiber screen protector in here. We'll run that over really fast. So, I don't have high hopes for this protector, but we'll see. But the case does look nice. We'll show you the case in just a minute. I'm going to put the screen protector on first. So, again, you just want to line this up. The glass ones are usually a lot easier to put on than not. So, this one's kind of on the thicker side. It's a slim bezel, but I'm not sure what the thickness is. I'll try to find out. And this one is definitely short. I'll show you in just a second. I'll work out the bubbles on it, but you can, it's hard, I mean, maybe hard to see in this camera, but it does, the, the screen protector is definitely short of the edges of the phone, and that kind of sucks, because you're going to get the haloing effect on this one again, too. What ends up happening is the adhesive on the edges start to pull up, it doesn't like flat, you can see it already happening on this one, so I'm probably going to pull it off, but we'll leave it on for right now, and there's a couple of bubbles underneath there. So let's go put the case on, this is the case, this is a crew box case. It's it's pretty nice. Let me go right in here. So this is my uh, this is my Spigen Neo Hybrid. This is the real one. And you can look at the inside of this, and then you can look at the inside of this crew box. It looks pretty similar, and the outside looks similar too. But Spigen makes one that looks like this as well. So understand what you're getting. I mean, the, the case itself is, is two pieces. You got the, T, uh, the TPU shell on the outside, and you got the softer rubber shell, and they call it tough armor. So definitely a take on the speaking case. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on with the screen protector on, and that's it. So it looks pretty good. There's a uh, there's a built-in stand. There's nothing wrong for that way, which is kind of cool. And that locks in. Access to the port is fine. Power. You have access to everything else on the case. So the case in of itself, it's it's nice. It's it'll do the job. It feels good in the hand. It's got a matte finish on the back. And. Uh, We'll try it out for a couple days and see how it looks. I'm trying to see, show you guys with the screen protector on. It doesn't look bad at all, especially with the screen protector on. It does take up some of the, the gap. Um, but again, I'm not a big fan of those. I just end up taking them off because it bugs me after a day or two. And the buttons are responsive, not a problem. So that's it. It's uh, from Crewbox. Try it out. Again, it's a kit with the screen protector. And if you just want a screen protector on your phone, by all means, try it out. Uh, and then you have the case. And it comes with, you know, the little, the lint protector, the alcohol remover, everything you need, the microfiber. Anyway, that's it. Crew box, case, Galaxy S4. Any questions, leave them below. Thank you.